Chief Godi Uwazuriki, the former national president, Aka Ikenga, an aspirant to the prestigious Igbo Apex Social Cultural Organization, Ohaneze Ndibu, President General, slated for January 2021, has described the ban on the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, as unfair and unwise decision taken by the federal government. Wazurike, in an extensive chat with Saturday Sun in Uweri, the Imo state capital, noted that the ban should not have been imposed on the Igbo pressure group because they have not subjected themselves to carrying arms. I am of the view that the ban on IPOP is misdirected. IPOP is not a violent association. There was no need for the high-handed response to the young men and women whose only weapon is the shaking of their fists. No reasonable Igbo man or woman will support armed insurrection. The prescription of IPOP is a clear case of judicial insensitivity. Agitation is not a normal thing in life. The Biafra spirit exists in the heart of every Igbo person. The difference is on what is to be done about it, Chief Godi Wazurike says. Explaining why he is in the race to replace Chief Nna Wodo, Chief Godi Uwazurike emphasized that since restructuring, which has been widely clamored to be, the to be Nigerian's solution to the misrule in the country has not been accepted. The Igbo dream of remedying the injustice done to it, he said, could only be achieved if they have a shot at the presidency. He therefore said that the only way is to allow the zone produce the next president of the country in 2023, which he noted would be his priority if he becomes the next president general of Ohaneze Ndibu. He said, with due respect, Pre President Muhammadu Buhari will not allow restructuring. The time for the Igbo person to be a president is now. In 1999, the Yoruba people presented two Yoruba men. And in 2007, the Northwest presented two Fulani people. So, let the rest of the country give two Igbo people a chance to slug it out in the two dominant parties. Who is good, or what is good for the goose is good for the gander. As President General of Ohaneze Ndibu Worldwide, I will make it the arrowhead of my administration. We have men and women who have impeccable credentials in public and private lives. Academic credentials are there. They do not have queries in their daily lives. The Igbo person will do this country proud, Chief Godi Wazurike said. Speaking on Igbo marginalization, Chief Godi Wazurike said, marginalization is a word that we have been living with since 1970 without accepting it. The shooting war ended in January 1970, but the marginalization battle is still raging. Anytime we the Igbo go for employment and appointment in the federal government, we notice that the boys and girls with first and second class end up being sidelined over time in favor of the people with lower qualifications. 
the anger over marginalization is real and this more than anything fuels agitation make no mistake my generation lived with this injustice of looking through the glass ceiling but the generation of my kids cannot tolerate it to the younger generation what is bad is bad was Rike stated the 2014 delegate to the constitutional conference stating reasons of vying for the position said among other promises said after a profound period of introspection I have decided to answer the call of well-meaning Ndebani, our people, to contest for the position of Ohanese Ndibu, World Wild President General. I believe I have all it takes to lead this organization, which is the pride of every right-thinking Igbo person. I want to contribute to the betterment of Ndibu worldwide. Was Rike said, I have the qualification, the passion, and the focus to lead us to the next level, he said. All right, be that as it were, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Saying that the ban on IPOP was misrepresented and is insensitivity of the federal government as it were. Guys, do you agree with what Chief Gordy Wazuriki has said? Basically, to me, to a very large extent, I think he is right on point. How do you categorize a group of social or a group of youth who are not into violence or who have not taken to arms? You categorize them as terrorists while those who are uh, in the business of killing, maiming, destroying, rendering people homeless, and committing so many crimes against humanity in the northern part of the country, you did not proscribe them as terrorists. Rather, you negotiate with them and you give them amnesty or you grant them amnesty. That is one of the high le highest level of injustice to humanity or to man by another man. The prescription of IPOP is wrong and should be, uh, re should be, should be uh, withdrawn. The prescription should be withdrawn with immediate effect. And dialogue should ensue so that what the people of the Southeast are crying about can be addressed meaningfully. Because you cannot beat a child and ask that same child not to cry that it will not be fair and that will not be right so the people of the southeast are well marginalized and we know it everybody knows it even the government knows it so the government cannot uh you know turn blind eyes to the plight of the people of the southeast that will be very very unfair and that will be unreasonable i stand to be corrected so but be that as it were the people of the southeast needs to be invited by the federal government and uh, a roundtable discussion needs to be uh, uh, organized to listen to the people of the southeast on what their challenges are and uh, a solution should be preferred to it because things cannot continue like this the more things continue like this the more people begin to or continue to feel uh, segregated neglected you know and marginalized ultimately from the affairs of nigeria and that is what is fueling the agitation for biafra and separation from the country a wise leader and a wise government will address these issues head on call these people to a roundtable discussion and address these issues so that they can know what to do and they can have a better way to address issues well it is what it is guys what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. 
please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.